Well, hi guys, welcome to Nazareto's channel again. I have another great video for you, but this time this is for 2017 Toyota RAV4. This product applies for 2013 up to 2018 Toyota RAV4. These are the crossbars, roof racks, that's gonna go over the rails over there. And uh, we're gonna install them. Let me show you how this product came uh, packaged and what brand it is. Catch. This is not a promotional video, just to let you know. Um, all right, let's get to it. This is one, and this is other one. And come here closer, come here closer. It's actually, we have a sticker here, so it's this side faces front. And it's also sticker here, this says front. So we have stickers here, it says this side faces front, and also this one, and also, it says that this is a front bar and there's also markings this one's for the rear and also these letter rr it means right rear i believe all right so far my impression is this this feels solid this is aluminum very good it does not feel cheap it feels very strong uh there are these bolts here for adjustment and that's good and there's a bolt on the top so nothing feels cheap there's also this rubber padding padding right here you see and it's letter l inside that's for left hand that's cool let's find the manual first see if it's inside yep there's some manual in there so inside the box i found this manual in uh, installation guide that's nice and also this little tool came in so that's very neat very thoughtful oh, well, let's oh, yeah I yeah i found it oh. yep i found it bro i got it and let's read this manual it says kit contents it says what it's included um it says it actually show you where the sticker shows you front that's going towards the front of the vehicle and the rear towards the rear figure one Figure two, very self-explanatory. But what I'm looking right now is for this part right here. It says six inches or 150 millimeters, right? 150 millimeters has to be spaced from the rear. So what I mean from this point has to be six inches. Front crossbar. That's for the front so yeah this would be from the front six inches so we're gonna measure that and we have to loosen this bolt loosen this bolt and loosen the so then all right let's get to this so now we have to loosen this bolt right here on the top as a provided tool and once you loosen it this part is moving outward yeah keep going you see this space right here and it's all rubber padded. That's good. It's going to be enough. Yeah, it should be enough. Let's go on the other one too. This is good. Yep. Oh, you already did that? No, I did nothing. It was like this. Okay, so this was already loose. This part was already loose. All right, let's tighten it back up a little bit. Tighten it up. So this sticker says this side faces front of the vehicle. So front of the vehicle. And this is also this is also the front bar, crossbar. So we're gonna install it over there. One important thing I forgot to mention, there's for the front crossbar, there's only right side, it's adjustable here. We're gonna loosen these bolts slightly so we can move this part. But this one is not adjustable. So first thing like I show you, we loosen these bolts here on both sides. And now we're going to loosen these bolts lightly. So they just, that's it, that's it. So it moves. And then when we install on the vehicle, we can adjust this to the proper length. All right, so you have to measure six inches from here, right? And also this bolt has to be loose enough so this bottom part kind of swings, swings to the side. And then you will tighten it. But let's do this first. Let's measure six inches from here on this side and on the other side. So we gotta measure six inches from the corner. Let me see. 
So it's from this corner right there to the beginning of the roof rack. And this side is good. Let's just measure from this line. From this line to this line, six inches. We did that? Yes. Let's move to the next side. Got six inches there. Beautiful. Now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna tighten this bolt on the top. But also, we want to check this uh, adjustment, you know, the two bolts that we loosen. We want to check those bolts too. Okay. So as you see, we're tightening the top bolt. So this arm on the bottom grabs the roof rail. I don't have the torque specification, but my uh, other rough 4 I tighten it to, I think like 32 Newtons. Just make it tight good enough. So the one side on the left is already tight. Now let's tighten this one. It's actually a nice tool. They provide a very nice tool that we have. Very good tightness. All right, now it's getting tight. And as you see this rubber pad right here and then one on the bottom, it holds a very good grip and at the same time you're not scratching your roof uh, these rails right here so that's very thoughtful because on this model of RAW 4 there's no other way you have to bolt this to these roof rails and as you see on my RAW 4 right here the bolt goes straight through the roof you know it's a little bit different design I don't have the like like this you know you can adjust these. This is why I like these better because you can adjust these. On the other rough four, you can't. They only you can make these closer together or farther apart. So that's why I like this setup a little bit better. And these roof racks also hold 70 pounds on each. So you can do like 140 pounds. You know, you can put a, a kayak on the top or two kayaks. Okay, this is solid. This is pretty solid and all we have to do is just to adjust these bolts on the bottom the ones here that loose but look at this you can shake the whole card now so it's already solid all right motion stone all right the last step for this front for uh crossbar we're gonna tighten these bolts that were loose and looks like the they don't really need to be adjusted they're fine so Put your tool in here, the shorter part, into the bolt. Make them tight. All right. Tighten them up. One and two. So the front crossbar is installed. As you see here again, I'll show you six inches from the corner to here. This bolt tighten. All will. Uh, share with you the uh, torque. What's the torque for this? There's bolts on the on this side also tighten And the same thing on the other side looks beautiful Looks very good And as you see it can move the whole car with this So that's pretty good And now we're gonna move to the rear again. We're gonna measure as it says per manual six inches from this corner to here and we're going to install the roof rack the same way same thing for the rear this sticker faces the front of the vehicle and we're gonna put it up go to the other side yeah you gotta lower that down and kind of twist it to the side no, no? so what i did I loosen this bolt and twist this part to the side. All right, tighten the top bolt. Well, what we did on the back here, we measure six inches from here to here on both sides. All right, tighten this bolt and tighten the other one. And also these two on the bottom, because we have to adjust this rail. Make it tight. As you see here, 
the sunroof, like this roof rack clears, uh, this crossbar clears the sunroof. That's what I like it on this, you know. When you open your sunroof, if you have XLE model, you're not gonna see this crossbar and you're not gonna hear much wind because on my XLE RAV4 that's 2019, as you see here, this crossbar goes directly over the sunroof. I mean, and I cannot move them farther. Now, if this one was farther, that'd be cool because I can move this one also far farther. But as you see here, when I open my sunroof, this is kind of in the way and it makes a little bit of noise. Not too much, but it's annoying. <laughs> And on this model, 2017, the sunroof is completely cleared. Uh -huh. That's good. So as my friend says, it's cheeky pooky. It means it's all right. And <laughs> this is solid. He tightened it up pretty good. I believe he still needs to tighten those two bolts that we adjusted on the other side. No, this will be this side. Yeah, and you have to turn them this way we loosen them up just a little so we can adjust it but and that's it all right guys we finished installation of these crossbars on 2017 toyota rav4 very easy you saw how to do it and my friend is showing <laughs> What are you doing? Show me again. <laughs> he was like twisting the little key in here. He was like happy, he's like excited. Yeah, I got my roof rails. <laughs> yeah, it's cool, you know. We like to go traveling, we go to Florida, you know, it'd be good to have our crossbars. I personally use my crossbars for kayaks most of the time, but also they sell like a cargo, uh, ca cargo basket or you can put like a luggage basket or you can put whatever you want, but don't exceed the weight limit, 70 pounds on each, so 140 pounds. That's what it states in the manual. But as you see, these are good, solid, aluminum. Nothing is moving. We have a nice rubber padding on both sides, everything tight. It looks very good, just like the original ones. And I am not promoting this product. I'm not affiliated with them, but that's what, we, that's what we got, you know. So if you guys have any questions or comments, please put them below. Subscribe to my channel. And I have another cool video for you for this RAV4. So as always, see you in the next video. Thank you for watching Nazareth's channel. Have a wonderful day.